This is the lesson in the R Basics module that introduces vectors and also talks about packages. I'm Steve Baskoff. I work with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of the Gene and Alexander Hurd Libraries at Vanderbilt University. In case you came across this video through some means other than our lesson pages, I just wanted to let you know that this is part of a series of lessons called the Code Graph, and you can find out more about that by going to Vanderbilt dot lt slash code graph. So we'll begin by talking about R objects. In R, there are a number of kinds of data. We are going to focus on three of them. The first is called character data. In other languages, these might be called strings. So it's just simply a string of characters like the, word, like the letters in F-R-E-D, or any other kind of characters, including numbers and symbols. In order to indicate which characters belong together in the character data, we put them inside quotation marks. Other data are numbers. Uh, these can be integer numbers or floating point numbers. Numbers do not are not enclosed inside quotation marks. And then, the third type of data we're going to talk about are logical data. This is also sometimes called Boolean in other languages. And uh, logical data can have two states, either true or false. In R, these are represented by the words true and false in all caps and no quotation marks. So if you want to indicate it's a logical true value rather than a string, you would make sure that you don't put it inside quotation marks. So the basic type of thing that is present in R is called an object. In R, what we mean by object is that it's some kind of specialized data structure. If we have named objects, we could use the term variable. In R, people tend to to use the term object, but if you're familiar with other languages, you may be used to the term variable, and for most purposes, you can think of them as being basically the same thing. When we assign names to an object, those names might have meanings to us, but they don't really have meanings to R. Um, to R, it's just a way of identifying one object compared to another. However, to a human reader of some R code, the name that you assign to an object is really important because uh, especially if you have complicated code, it's very difficult to keep track of what's going on in the code if you don't use meaningful names for your objects. So typically, um, if you are talking about an object that is uh, a variable, then you will use some kind of a name that indicates what it is. If it's the name of a function, then you typically will choose a name that is descriptive of what that function does. The, the common convention in R is what's known sometimes as snake case. So uh, typically you will, if, if the name that you have is, uh, consists of several words, then you would write those words as lowercase and put underscores in between each of the words. Uh, another option is to use camel case. There's nothing really wrong with that. Uh, however, the convention typically in R is to use snake case. Um, it may seem kind of annoying to have long names like this, especially if you have to type them. But uh, if you end up having complex code, uh, a longer name that is more expressive is usually better than a shorter name that you forget the meaning of. So when you create a named object, typically you assign a value to that object. So the assignment operator in R that is typically used is actually two characters, a less than symbol followed by a dash or a hyphen. Uh, and if you think of these two symbols put together, they look sort of like a leftward pointing arrow. 
So that's good because that essentially indicates what is happening in the assignment statement. So here if I have name and then this assignment characters, Steve, what it means is I am taking the characters, this character string that consists of the letters capital S-T-E-V-E, -E, and I'm assigning it into an object that has the name name. Or if I want to assign a number to the variable, uh, to a named uh, object, I can use the same character, and this time I don't put it in quotation marks. So the way that RStudio knows the type of object that this is, is by the type of object that you put into it. So if you assign a string, then it knows that name contains a uh, character, ob is a character object. If you put a number into it, if you assign a number into it, then it knows that the uh, object called my number is a numeric object. You are allowed to use an equal sign as the assignment operator. This is a typical assignment operator in other computer languages, such as Python. However, the convention is to use this sort of leftward arrow thing, so I don't recommend that you use the equal sign in order to make your code readable and understandable to other users. If you are editing the code in RStudio, there's actually a shortcut. If you hold on the Alt key and then press the minus key, uh, you can generate the, um, the uh, arrow, the two arrow characters all at once. I, it's somewhat questionable whether this is actually faster because it, all, it still requires pressing on uh, two keys, but at least you don't have to search around and try to figure out where the uh, less than symbol is. So in most languages, an important feature is trying to figure out what is the current value of an object or what does a variable contain. And so most languages have a print command, but in R, uh, it's not that commonly used. There is a print command, but usually it's used if you're writing to a file. More commonly, you simply place the name of the object uh, into the console and press enter, and then that will uh, evaluate it if it's an expression or just display its value if it is an object. Let's go into our studio and try assigning some values to object, named objects. So let's say name, assign Steve. Um, so down here, I don't actually see anything. Although if I look up in my global environment, I can see that I have created a named um, object that has a value of Steve. I can also just type the name of the object here, hit enter, and it is reporting to me that it is Steve. Uh, if I do the other example, this time I'm going to try alt dash, and there it goes. Oh, it put in the little spaces for me and everything. Great. 6.02. Once again, it's created a entry for me in the global environment. And if I want to see what the value of it is. Now, um, I mentioned that it's annoying to have long variable names. You can see that RStudio has just suggested to me, do I want to use my number? If I want to take that suggestion, I can just hit enter and it'll auto complete for me. Then if I press enter again, It'll show me the value of the number.